Hi, in this video tutorial we want to see how we can forecast Bitcoin price with LSTM networks. Uh, first of all, we need to get the price data. I use prices from Binance. Uh, Binance is an exchange which has become more popular. It has an API, so we can use that. To do it, you need to have an account on Binance. Then after you log in, you, on the first page, you can enable your API and you get the EPA key and secret key. You need to copy it to a notepad and anyone with these two keys will have access, to, can have access to your um, account. So you should not show it to anyone. Then after having the keys, we need to install Python. Uh, Anaconda distribution has the necessary libraries, almost all. And after downloading and installing Anaconda, we need to install the Python wrapper for Binance API. Uh, from here, um, it's uh, pip install Python Binance. To do that, we type Anaconda prompt, and after you right-click run as administrator, then it's this uh, prompt opens and then I just copy and then paste and hit enter. I have it installed, so I'm not going to install it again. And then after that, uh, well, if you have any uh, error, then you need to install build tools for Visual Studio. You can install the standalone version. You don't have, need to install uh, Visual Studio itself. After getting done with the installation, we can move to the notebook. Uh, it's installed your Anaconda. You just open the notebook. The first page is like this. And when you hit new on Python 3, you will be, uh, there will be another page, a new notebook, notepad. That notebook, sorry, that you can type your code. So I will go through the code line by line. First of all, what I have done is import keys, the keys I got, because I didn't want to show it here, which will, we will put it here, here. I have written it in a separate file and imported here, import date time, and then from binance.client import client. And this is the, uh, how we can uh, get started. You can see it in the document page. And then, um, then we need to copy our API key and secret key. If you can copy them directly like this, like uh, in, in, a, uh, in quotes like this. So they should be in quotes. And after that, uh, uh, we get the data. So I want to get the data for Bitcoin to USDT. And this is how we can get the data. <clears throat> Client that gets historical K lines. Uh, you define the symbol and the time frame. Time frame is like this, and but you can have other time frames like here. So we can have one minute, two, one month, and here. Then you define uh, what start date you want. I want it from a year ago, and then. Uh, importing pandas to read the, the data and have it more in a table, uh, very nice and neat. Import pandas as pd and this command is to have the um, plot in the notepad. This is a magic function which can do that. And then uh, we make a data frame of the uh, Bitcoin price and the columns, we define the columns to have it more like readable. And this, uh, how the columns, you can find it here. And it says open time, open high, low. So I, I've just copied one by one here. And then uh, the open time is a string and we need to convert it to a date, date time with this line. And this is how it works. A unit equals uh, ms. And then uh, the time will be set as the index. 
So this is the table and these are the prices. So at the beginning we have it from 2017 and these are the prices, uh, open, high, low, close, volume, post time and all the information you need until today, 21st of April. There are 11,790 rows. Then to plot the, uh, the prices, we just convert the close prices, which are strings, to float type to be able to uh, do uh, mathematical operations on them. And then uh, plotting it with uh, pandas, which is very easy, just your column and then plots. You define the figure size and the title. If you like this, this is very familiar Bitcoin charts. And then to get started with the algorithms and the uh, Elastium networks, first we, pre we need to pre-process the data. At, at, uh, at the beginning, we will get the uh, prices, close prices as non pay array, and this is how we can do that. So we get the all the rows and column, uh, the fourth column. So in Python, the index starts from zero. So three, two, four, four is not included, and this is only uh, it means the fourth column, but this will give it a uh, 2D, two dimension. And the type should be floats, and dot values will convert it to NumPy arrays. And then uh, importing uh, from scikit-learn library from the scalar that preprocessing import min max scalar and make and uh, instan instantiate the min max scalar like this. Then just fit and transform data. After doing this, uh, our data will be uh, in a small scale compared to all the prices that starts from $4,000 to $20,000, it will be around zero. And then um, training sets uh, and test set, we, we split the data to training set and test set. The almost first 10 months is the training set and the last one to months is the test set that we can test our model. And again, uh, we uh, split, not splitting actually, the X train is from the first uh, uh, price in our training set to one to the last price and Y train is the second price to the last price. So because LSTMs will predict uh, one step ahead. So Y train is one step ahead of X train. So this is how it works. And then X test is like this. There's no need to do it for Y test because this is the real price that you want to see and there's no need for scaling. So then uh, we import NumPy as NP and this is to uh, make the NumPy array 3D, three dimension. So this is how it's done, NumPy the three shape. You have the uh, NumPy array, X train, and then the dimension, that is like this, uh, length of X train, one and X train that shape, the first, and after we have it uh, 3D, we will have the um, cross library. We need to import it. To do this first, you need to install TensorFlow or Fiano, but TensorFlow apparently is much better. So we go with this, and this is the uh, command to install it on Windows. There are other operating systems just copy this to Anaconda prompt easily. And then for cross, this is for Windows and this is for Linux. Again, just copy and hit enter. And then we'll be able to import from cross.models import sequential, from cross.layers import dense, from cross.layers import LSTM. 
and then we can make the uh, OSTEM network, we instantiate the sequential, then model, uh, we add the OSTEM la layers, uh, two layer here with 256 units. And yeah, so this is how we can do two layers. Then we compile, the loss will be measured with the mean squared error and optimizer is Adam. And fit the model with uh, on X train and Y train. Number of epochs is 50 here, but you can just um, put more, 100 or something. It takes some time for for me. Each epoch has taken 15 seconds. So, and then you predict the price. Uh, model that predict X test. You get the predicted price, and then you need to just scale it back to the original prices. So inverse transform predicted price to get the actual predicted price. And because I have scaled Y test before, I uh, scale it back to get the real price. And we can see the predicted price here. This is a NumPy array. Then to plots, just import matplotlib.pyplot as PLT. This is how we can plot it, plt.bigger, define the fixed size, and then uh, plt.plot predicted price is the uh, price predicted by the model. Um, just put the color like red and have a label for it. Um, plt.plot, uh, uh, then you put real price and another color, and then we get the figure is like this. So we got the we got the plots, but apparently this uh, is not uh, realistic. Apparently, Elastim networks um, they they uh, they cannot be implemented because they are uh, they have delay, and so maybe with some modification it can work better. But uh, for now, it's mostly for uh, educational purposes. So thank you for listening and hope you like it.